in the context of concurrency, certain relevant terms are handled. Some of these terms are very similar, and the differences between them are often subtle. Even if they are used interchangeably in informal context, they are not exactly the same. We will look at the concepts of sequential programming, concurrency, multithreading, parallelism, and multitasking. Let's start with the non-concurrent programming model, sequential programming. Sequential programming is the one in which instructions are done one at a time, that is, where there is no concurrency of any kind. One of the advantages of this programming model is that it is relatively easy to understand since it consists of following a series of steps in an orderly manner. The problem with this paradigm is that sometimes it can be a slow. Concurrency. Concurrency means doing several things at the same time. This is contrary to sequential programming. The term concurrency encompasses everything related to, in one way or another, doing several things at the same time. There are different forms of concurrency. As we have seen, a fundamental concept is threats. We remember that a thread is a sequence of instructions that can be executed independently of other code. Multithreading. Multithreading is the ability to use multiple threads. It is important to clarify that multithreading does not imply parallelism. Since we can have a computer with a processor that is not multi-core and still can use multithreading, this is because an operating system can provide several threads and execute them sequentially without using parallelism. Parallelism. It is running several threads simultaneously. This requires a multi-core processor. Since parallelism uses multiple threads, then parallelism uses multi-threading. However, as we said, we can have multi-threading without having parallelism. In this case, typically, what we have is called multitasking. With multitasking, we can have several tasks running in such a way that we execute their different threads sequentially, typically with some type of task execution system. This is handled at the operating system level. For example, if we have a program A with threads 1 and 2, and a program B with threads 3 and 4, and we try to execute both programs at the same time, it could be that the system executes the threads in the following order, 1, 3, 2, and 4. So it looks like there was parallelism, but there really wasn't, as the threads did not run simultaneously, but in sequence. The computer is so fast that the human eye could not see that the tasks were executed in sequence. So in this case, we could talk about perceived parallelism, but not real parallelism. Therefore, as we can see, concepts such as concurrency, multithreading, parallelism, and multitasking are somewhat similar, but differ in crucial aspects.